Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm carrying out some maintenance on a toilet extract fan. Okay, in this unit there is two fans, A and fan B, which is also covered by two motors, motor A and motor B. On this maintenance visit I'll be checking the tension of the belts, I'll be checking pulleys, I'll be checking the fan blades and I'll be checking the motor terminals, make sure that all the connections are tight and sound, there's no cable burn and there's no wear. So let's take a look at the fan itself. So guys, this is the fans. To the left is fan A or fan 1, to the right is fan B, fan 2. Okay, each fan has its own motor, one there and one just down there. Okay, we have on this side a power unit which supplies the power to both motors and here we have the duct doors okay so when when fan one is running this will open up and allow the air through when fan one shuts over fan two will start up and as that starts up this will open and that door there will close so there's no, there's no electrical components to this operation, it's all manual, so it does it itself basically. So when the flow, the flow is in use, on whichever pump it will open the correct door for that pump. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to check the fan. Okay, on our fan we have a black mark, which is just there and I've put that there on my last maintenance visit to note when I've done one complete rotation of the fan so what I'll do is I'll turn the fan in an anti-clockwise direction checking the fins for any cracks, burrs, tears, splits or anything untoward and also be making sure they're all of even spacing because the last thing we need is when this is spinning at high RPMs is something to catch off, start making a banging noise or possibly even damage the fan or the motor. So we'll just be checking for any imperfections on the fan blades. And there we are, one rotation back to our black dot there. Okay super, fan's in good condition. So all I'm going to do now is just check the fan mounting, which is this pole that runs from the left hand side to the right hand side, straight through the centre of the fan. And I'll be just giving that a turn, making sure it's not catching and it's turning freely. Pull it up and down to the left and to the right to make sure the bearings are firm and secure. There's no wear in the bearings that could also damage the fan and the motor. If the bearings are worn it will make a banging noise and it could be quite costly to repair. Also checking the mounts that secure the fan mount and also checking the mounting screws on the bottom of the fan housing to make sure that that's firm and secure. Make sure there's no, uh, no movement there. Right guys, so far so good. Just put the head torch on now just so I could show you the belts. Okay, this these fans are fitted with six belts, three belts on each fan and each motor. So all I'm gonna do is check the tension of the belts to make sure there's no loose belts and they all seem okay to me. I'll just sl slowly just pull them through, pull them back on itself. As you can see there, these are SPZ 1420s, anti static oil and heat resistant belts. Okay, what I'm looking for here is any signs of splitting, I'm looking for any uh, fraying from the sides. If the belts are not lined up correctly, then one side will possibly wear more than the other side 
okay we don't want that to happen because that again could cause damage to the remaining belts it could cause damage to the left or right fan or the left or right motor okay so on spinning these we're just checking for any signs of fraying anywhere and any imperfections also checking the pulleys that the pulleys are aligned and there's no wobble and no movement coming from there and that all seems to be that all seems to be in working order right so next thing I'm, I'm going to do is remove the top plate of the motor and check for any signs of burn wear or any loose connections within the uh, within the motor housing so here we are now guys the top of the cover has now been removed from the wiring harness at, at the motor so all we're going to do is with our voltage pen is just test to make sure that there is no power going to the fan to the motor okay it has been isolated twice it has been isolated at the panel and it's also been isolated at the fans isolation point it's been locked off and tagged off so there is no fear of electrocution but just to be safe you still want to test okay I'm happy there is no power going to this fan so all I'm going to do now is select the right size tool check the terminals are tight and check the wiring for any imperfections okay so I've got my Klein stubby I'm just gonna test all these connections to make sure they're all tight like so just gonna make sure the mounting screws are tight okay these fans are running constant so vibration and wobble could cause uh, the screws to come loose so I'll just go around and check them all okay that's that complete I'm just gonna have a check get inside with the torch and just check <coughs> Give it a blow to remove any dust. Check all the connections to make sure they're okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks okay to me. So, we put the top back on to the uh, power housing. All we're going to do now is just check the duct work. Make sure it's clear there's no blockages okay on this side So that's the toilet extract fan serviced all I need to do now is uh, check fan number one or fan A do exactly the same procedure in the same manner and that will be the end of our uh, maintenance visit for the toilet extract fans so I hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye